Well, 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 look who is brave enough to show his face in Europe. Say the word, Leslie. I'll sick my army of lions on him. Okay, look, I think um, things are starting to get a little out of control here. I agree. You betrayed me, and you went behind my back, and now you need to pay. I need to, I need to pay? Do I stutter? Oh, okay, fair enough. Oh, you know what? You might want to borrow this. Ew, no one wants your dirty underwear, but... It's not dirty underwear. It's a white flag, and you may as well start waving it right now, The only Leslie. thing I will be waving is your decapitated head on a stick in front of your weeping mother! Good lord. Oh my god, everything in my life is going wrong right now. Whose fault is this? I demand to know. Actually... Ben I... thinks that I'm a steamroller? That's unbelievable. How dare he think that I'm a steamroller? Leslie, I'm just telling you I know, you this he's going I through a phase you. right now, and eventually we're gonna both be friends again. No, what I was gonna say is that you really are... Working too hard. I know, Anne, you, you keep starting all these sentences and not finishing... You're a steamroller! You are a massive, enormous, runaway steamroller with no brakes and a cement brick on the gas pedal. You made me watch all eight Harry Potter movies. I don't even like Harry Potter. That's insane, you love Harry Potter. You've seen all eight movies. When we go out to a bar, you order my drinks for me. Because you order white wine and it gives you a headache. What's well, my headache? Leslie, you do what you want, you ignore what other people want, and you hear only what you want to hear. Okay, I know. I know I do this. I'm the worst. No, you're... Very passionate. You just push too hard sometimes. Well, then you should call me a bulldozer rather than a steamroller. I'm sorry. It's gonna be okay. Is it? Honestly, is it? I mean, I guess I just need to leave Ben alone. That's what he says he wants. Uh, okay. Well, this steamroller is hanging up her... The... Rolly thing on the front of the machine. What do you what do you call that? Roller? Probably. Okay. <laughs> I know. Well, that's the great thing about treaties. It doesn't even matter. Hey, I'm back. Or as they say in Denmark, I'm back. Most people speak English. So, are you guys ready to polish off this treaty? Oh, um, actually, I, I merged our treaty with Russia and China's treaty. I got cut out of my own treaty? Yeah. I got sick of treading water, so I swam over to Asia, made a deal. The nation of Denmark would like to formally request a summit with the nation of Peru over there by the refreshment table because the nation of Denmark needs a juice box. I am shocked and appalled by the actions of the honorable delegate from Peru. <sighs> Leslie, just... Look, I thought I could handle being friends with you, but I can't, okay? Now, we agreed the other night that we can't spend time together. I think that was the right call. But that was in a romantic way. We can still spend time together as friends. It doesn't work that way. You can't just chop up the aspects of a relationship into discrete parts and select the ones you want like a buffet. Why not? Because it's selfish. Stop being obtuse. Look, I understand where he's coming from, but I have been nothing but straightforward with him. And if anyone in the entire world should understand the difficult position I'm in, it's, it's just I've made an effort. And I've shared my flags with him, and suddenly he doesn't want to be friends? Well, you know what? That leaves me with only one option. Please, uh, just excuse me for it. Attention, this is an urgent world matter. Due to a recent betrayal, my homeland, the great state of Denmark, has officially decided to declare war on Peru. Scandinavian brothers, on my signal, unleash hell! Having fun? Well, four years of work down the drain and I have a penis on my head. Jam is stealing this lot right out from under us. My dream is dead, Anne. Mine, too. This is why I prefer a nightmare. You are sad drinking right now and I need you to be happy drinking. Like we watch Grease together. I know, Anne, but everything's gonna disappear. April's mini dog park, the little Sebastian fountain, even the Wamapoke playground. Yet another piece of Wamapoke land plowed over by the white man. Just try to forget about it. I mean, there's nothing you could do to stop them tonight. For almost 200 years, Pawnee repeatedly built factories, restaurants, and other stuff on land held sacred by the Wamapoke people. So we passed a law saying that if any sacred Wamapoke artifact is found on a development site, all construction must immediately stop. It would be terrible if that were to happen on this future Paunchburger site. <laughs> oh, this is bad. I should not have done this. 
One tiny critique, if you do want to be taken seriously, you might want to think a little bit about how you present yourself. Oh, uh, no, this is publicity for Oren's new performance art show. He's an animal living on a human farm, and you can go and feed him from your own hand. Ugh, that's horrifying, and so is Oren. You should not be friends with him. So, after reviewing all the options, I found that the best location for the dog park is Lot 48, the one behind Anne's house. <laughs> No, 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 no. I've been trying to put a park there for four years. I, it, see, the thing is, April, that lot is mine. Yeah, I've been doing slow, painstaking work, so I don't want to whip out the legalese on you now, but I got dibs. What we are going to do is we're going to take your enthusiasm, we're going to bundle it up, and we're going to find a new place for a dog park. Doesn't that sound fun? One, two, three, cheese. Good girl. OK, this is insane. It is 40 degrees, and we are standing in freezing water. No. This is our motivation. We are not leaving this fountain until we've figured this out once and for all. Fine, why are you not supporting me on this? I thought you agreed with me. I do, as a person, but as city manager, I'm not 100% sure you have a case. You're not listening to my side. I mean, sometimes when we disagree, you're so passionate, I feel like I'm arguing with the sun. What? That is totally crazy. I am super chill all the time. I'm not mad that you're doing this. Yes, I am mad that you're doing this. But even worse, I'm mad that you just lied to me okay, about it. I'm sorry. We all swore that we weren't going to ever help her again, ever. I never said that. You did. I speak for all of us in all matters. That is what you tacitly agreed to when you married me. What? Yeah, let's go. You've changed your mind. You're not going to help her anymore. Right. I just want to borrow your husband for the evening. Oh, hey, we're up to $60. Not bad, right? Yes, and bad. You might not care about Jerry's future, but I do. OK, we need to do something very drastic so he can be happy, so we can all be happy. Uh, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Don't know what you're thinking, but I'm definitely not thinking what you're thinking. Good idea, Anne. Okay, we have a new item up for bid. A wonderful surprise item. An evening with sexy nurse Anne Perkins. No. Yes. Look at her, folks. One evening with the most beautiful woman in the world. Just dinner and dancing, nothing sexual. Unless she's into that, but no, she's not. Nothing fresh, don't even try it. But you never know, right? No. No, she's not into it. Don't try anything, but you know, give it a shot. Either way, it's for a good cause. Let's raise some money. Oh boy, I know how this goes. I know how Shauna operates. She smiles, and then they fall in love, and then they get married, and then she changes her name to Shauna Malway Wyatt. Or he's gonna be really progressive and change his name to Ben Wyatt Malway Tweep. God, I am so annoyed that he would hypothetically do that. I'm gonna remind you that the reason you're not dating him is because you decided to run for city council. Oh, so just because I can't go out with him, someone else can? Oh boy. Wow. Okay. <gasps> oh my God, I just thought of an idea of how we can save the parks department. Great. Let me ask you one question. Would you be cool doing things that a prostitute does? Uh... Minus the money? Definitely yes, then. Thanks, Ann. We're barely able to function. We could really use that money. Well, you know, I don't know if it's because I'm in such a good mood or because of the charming Ann Perkins, but I am going to seriously consider that. Really? That's great. Mission accomplished. <laughs> Let's boogie. Mission accomplished? Uh-oh. Yeah. There's a mission uh, that Anne had thought of. It was both of our ideas, but it was mostly Anne's. We, I had mentioned to Anne that it would be fun if you two went on a date. So then you could uh, talk about the money and then, you know, maybe give it to me. Wow. I've just had my first bad date. Ann Perkins. Not that sneaky.